Welcome to Excellence in Excel and in this video we're going to focus on the function weekdays. So this is a really nice function because you can analyze basically the weekday and based on a number. So for example, with weekday if you have uh, let's say today, today is 11 August 2018. Yes, it's a Saturday. So we give a number to a weekday and there are three main ways to do this and knowing which one you're going to use is important. So let me explain. Let's start the use here. Let's say today. Enter. All right. So it's now August 11 and this is a Saturday. And if you really want to figure that one out, we can do here right click and we can get some special design. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe it's here. It's probably on the format. And then we have the number. Let's see if we can get any kind of design here. Currency, date. Let's select here more formats. Let's select some more formats, more date formats. And what we really want is we want to show here that this is a Saturday. All right. This is the one we want apply this all right double click and i'll just merge these cells together let's put them all together let's click your format and merge cells all right so we have this so we know now this is saturday 11 of august so let's put in our function weekday once we do a weekday you can see there are the date you have the date and you have the type. So this is very important. So I'm going to select here and it's just selecting this one. It understands this is it. Enter. So by default, it is weekday. Saturday is considered number seven. So this is the default function. Default or number one. This is number two function and this is number three function. I'm going to explain this. You might wonder well, what is this exactly? Well, let me show you. So we have here and then we have like this type the type is basically the numbering system to use to represent the weekdays very simple here saturday is considered number seven if we do instead of this we do say let's say plus one so it's sunday sunday is considered number one however if you are like me it's very common you say the first day is monday and not Sunday. Sunday is considered the seventh or the last day of the week. So what do you do is here very simple. You have the option here. If you put in one, nothing changes here because it is exactly the same. Sunday is still considered number one. But if we put in here now number two, you can see now that Sunday is now considered this here. This is the structure here. And of course, there's a final option here because there are only three options here. Number three, then Sunday is considered six because Monday is counted as number zero. Very, very important to remember because I remember before when I used some com complicated formulas, assuming by default it was uh, Monday is considered number one and Sunday was number seven. I got very wrong formula. So make sure you pay attention on this. But that's really it. This is really just some very small minor item, but it will have a big impact on your on your formulas especially if you don't know the different things however this is really how you use the weekdays very simple very useful as well